What's going on, y'all? So I was in my live feed today, and uh, one of my subscribers just got on with uh, with a trucking company, and the trucking company just started CDL training. So I was talking to him in the live feed, and I go, I said, huh? It's not a, it's not a bad idea to give the, uh, the the company that you just got on with a call. And see what they talking about. You know, they just started CDL training. The company I'm talking about is Boyd Brothers. Yes, Boyd Brothers. So without further ado, let's give them a call and chop it up with them. Boyd Brothers, hey, Joe, you say G? Yes. Hey, G, how's it going, man? Um, I'm great. Is it too late to talk to someone uh, in the recruiting department? No, I'm, I'm actually one of the recruiters. How can I help you? Oh, okay, okay. How's it going, brother man? All right, I'm in a, I'm in a Facebook trucking group, and you guys was the topic of our conversation today, and uh, and you know one of the one of the Facebook book group drivers just started working for uh, Boy Brothers. And I, I thought to myself that I said, huh, maybe I, maybe I should give you guys a call to, um, to get a little bit more information about the company. So do you, uh, do you have time, to, uh, a little bit of time for me to, to, to do a Q and A with me about the, uh, about the company? Oh yeah, absolutely. I can answer some questions. That's what I'm paid to do, buddy. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, you know, as I said, I'm I'm in a trucking group, so the information that you give me, I will relay it back to re, uh, relay it back to them as well. So, but, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Only, are you a driver? Yeah, I'm a driver. I just found out you guys. Do you guys uh, do um, CDL training now? Yes, sir. We have a driving academy right here in Birmingham. All right. Can you uh, can you can you discuss a little bit about that? Yeah, as far as training, they get that. Now, I don't have much information at all. My co-worker, she, has, she works in a different office. Mm -hmm. She actually uh, has all the details on the academy. Um, uh -oh. She knows that we will, you know, the drivers don't have to pay anything to come to the academy. I do know that, and I think they give them an advance. Okay. And I know that they do um, some of the training online first. I think it's like 40 hours online before they come in. Right. And I think they come in and then do the uh, training. Then they go, we send you back to your own home state to get your CDL. And then you come back and do uh, your orientation on load securement. And then you go out with a trainer. So uh, okay. it's a several week process. But as far as all those little details, I'm probably going to have to get you over to Miss Frankie for her to give you all that. Well, you know uh, what? The little bit of details that you gave me so far is, 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 is all I need. I mean, that, that's, good, okay. that's good information that, uh, that I can that I can pass on to some of these uh, newer drivers. Uh, you're, you, you guys are a flatbed company. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, how, how, long, how, how long you guys been in existence? 52 years. 52 years? Uh, uh -huh. Flatbedding, now, whoa. <laughs> flatbedding is a, is a bit man's job. Can you, uh, can you go into a little bit of detail of what it, what it all entails uh, with, with you guys' yeah. company? Yeah, yeah, with, with us, you know, we mainly run the Midwest and Southeast, and then we'll take you through some securement training. And that securement training will teach you how to strap and chain uh, the loads. You know, some, some loads will use straps, some, some will use uh, chains. Uh, then we also haul coils, so we have coil racks and X projectors and all that stuff. So th there is some uh, lifting involved or physical aspects to the job. But we'll, we'll walk each, you know, driver through all the training. We also do like a drug screen, a physical, and a um, agility test to between those first few days as well. Um, as far as the loads, you know, some of the loads have to be tarped. Probably on average, about half the loads, mm -hmm. and about half the loads are preloaded as well. So we do a lot of drop and hook. So okay. um, got a few dedicated lanes as well across the country. So we, uh, so we, uh, we have a lot going on. What 
uh, what dedicated lanes are available? I'm I'm out of Ohio, so let me just give you probably give you a starting point. Yeah, yeah. As far as Ohio, I know that we um, dedicated lanes are open. I think just the West Virginia runs is what we had open. Now I think we have a local position, like a yard jockey position in Louisville. Um, as far as Ohio and places like that, you would basically just run over the road Midwest, Southeast to get you home on the weekends. Most of our drivers are home on the weekends. I think over 90% of our drivers are home like three out of four weekends a month. It's a, a really good rate there as far as home time. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, we, we, go ahead. What's the maximum amount of days I can take off for home time? Maximum amount of days? Yes. Um, we really want our drivers to deliver every Monday. So what we do, since we do get you home weekly, uh, we typically, you're going to take a load through the house and deliver it on Monday. Especially mm -hmm. if it's over 400 miles, we want you to leave it out on Sunday evening mm -hmm. to deliver. But typically, you're going to be home somewhere between 24 and 48 hours. Um, it's not one of those where if you stay out two weeks, you'll get four days off in a row or anything like that. That's just not how we operate. Okay. Um, but most of our drivers are home weekly, so you're able to get that, that work-life balance. Okay. All right. Um, as you as you know, I am out of Ohio. What other higher areas do you hire out of? Yeah, all the Midwest and Southeast, basically. So um, if you drew um, a line from Detroit and then a crossover to, like, Chicago, uh, right across the uh, Mississippi down into Iowa, Kansas City, Oklahoma City, down to Dallas, over to Houston, across I-10, over to about Jacksonville, Florida, the back up 95 through the Carolinas, up to about Scranton, PA. Okay. Every, everything in the middle of that box there. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, so, so the terminals, uh, where where's the, the terminals located at? Yeah, well, we've got two in Alabama. We've got one in Clayton, Alabama, which is in southeast Alabama. Then we have one in central Alabama, Birmingham. Mm -hmm. We're actually opening one in Louisville, Kentucky right now. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a yard and a maintenance department in uh, Cincinnati. Um, Ohio? So we just have three, yeah. So okay. we just have three terminals, though. All right. Uh, right now, then we have a yard in Cartersville, Georgia. And then we have a yard in Coalfield, North Carolina. Um, and then those dedicated runs, you know, you know, we got some in like Cincinnati, I think is probably the one in Ohio we have, and then we have Atlanta, I think we have something in like um, Akron and Youngstown, I think we, we did have a dedicated run there, I think it's full, it's kind of Stoga, and then, you know, we have a little bit across, you know, uh, PA, West Virginia, Memphis, to uh, Little Rock, typically, okay. and then we do a little bit of container work in Virginia, Okay. You're pretty diversified you gotcha. know, as far as what we do. All right, so wonder why I asked uh, about the terminals because a lot of the guys, uh, uh, some of the veterans uh, and the newer drivers as well, uh, let's say they come out to the orientation, and I, I, will, I will ask you about orientation in a second, but they come out to orientation, and let's just say uh for some odd reason they're not able to uh make it through orientation uh also also add this question on top of that before you answer it so say for example i am on with the company and you know let's say uh at a certain point in time i decide to say that this company is not for me what would be the what would be the policy of me returning the truck and yeah. like i said and then on top of that will you guys be for the people that's in orientation and let's say they don't make it through orientation uh will you guys be able to get them back home yeah yeah we, we get the drivers who don't make it through orientation home typically um you know, we send you home on a bus uh, you might come in in a rental car but we'd send you home on a bus um, because we can't put you back in a rental car if you, you haven't made it new orientation. Right, right. Um, typically, um, the other side of that, you know, um, that's more of an operations question on how they do the, the policy. Mm -hmm. um, so I really couldn't answer the, the policy about you know, getting the tractors, you know, um, 
what we do exactly. I, I do know that obviously we don't want you to abandon the tractor. We want you to bring the tractor back to a terminal. Typically is what they ask the drivers to do. And typically right. it's Birmingham, I think, or Cincinnati. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Birmingham. But um, I would, don't quote me on that one. That, that's when you probably have to talk to somebody more in operations on. Okay. All right. Uh, is there a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much is it and how is it paid out? Yeah, yeah, it's a ten thousand dollars sign-on bonus. It's paid out uh, in your mileage pay, so you get to get uh, you get a six cent bonus for uh, if you have more than ninety days of driving experience. So we can verify mm -hmm. the driver will get an extra six cents per mile, or an extra two and a half percent if the driver chooses percentage pay. Okay. Now, now you just mentioned uh, about payment. Um, so that was a question down the line, but I can ask it now. Uh, what's the what's the cent per mile there, or you or by you just mentioned, they they get percentage pay. What's what's the percentage? Yeah, we do both. Um, driver has an option, but uh, it can range between twenty seven percent and thirty one and a half percent according to the driver's experience. And as far as the mileage pay, it can range between forty eight cents and uh, fifty nine cents per mile. Now, in your opinion, in your best opinion. What would you say would be the best way to go as far as as far as that goes? Uh, mileage or percentage? Um, I, I would say percentage pay. Um, you know, I think they've they pretty much encouraged drivers to do percentage pay. Okay. Um, are you able to write all this stuff down? So, right there, I had to uh, I had to pretty much in the call right there so guys as you notice i had to keep i had to cut the call short uh he didn't want it to uh continue the the q a because you know i told him that it was recorded um and he uh he kind of felt some kind of way about that but as you guys know i distorted his voice and blurred out his name and uh of course there's no you know, no visual of them because, you know, the camera was on me, but, you know, but that's okay though. That's okay. I don't, I don't have a problem, you know, respecting that, but the little bit of information that he did give us about boy brothers is really good. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys is interested in boy brothers, definitely give them a call and continue the conversation, you know, let them know lockout men sent you, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is these videos is is not a shot to the company you know not to put the company on blast these videos is to help you make your decisions on what companies to go with when you and your decision making process you know it'll give you a chance to hear what the guy got to say about the company how much you know what's the cpm if it's percentage uh, what you got to do when you come to orientation, how much is orientation, if there's a sign-on bonus. That's what these videos are all about. There's, these videos is not to call these companies and and just, to, you know, throw them under the bus. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't do that. I don't do that. Um, we, we, got other, we got other YouTubers that handles that. But excuse me but as far as what i do and what i bring to the table with lockout man makes the calls is to give you guys information about the company that you may or may not be interested in it. so i i will ask the questions that you're probably might be afraid to ask being that i'm a little bit you know a little bit seasoned in the game you know i mean would you will call them up and let them do all the talking and pretty much talk you into something that may or may not be um, comfortable for you. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I bring to the table. That's what I try to do. Tell me what you think of the call. Uh, it was a very short call and a distorted voice because he didn't want his uh, he did he didn't want his voice recorded. So of course I had to I had to uh, distort it some kind of way. So sorry about how the how it sounds. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is 
I think that's what I'm going to start doing is uh, voice distortion in my next few calls. I don't know. But unfortunately, he didn't want his uh, he didn't want his voice uh, recorded. So, of course, I had to distort it and uh, and and bring it out. But the little information that he has given us sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. So I, I will still say give boy brothers a call. So what you guys think of the call? Boy brothers. Hmm. I wish I could get a little bit more information because. It was sounding good. I mean, it was, I mean, the company was really sounding good. So, but unfortunately, it was uh, it was cut short, and uh, I had to pretty much finish it off for you guys. So, if you guys like Boy Brothers, give them a call. Find out what uh, what else they got to offer. Um, they do have dedicated lanes, uh, and they do have pre tarps. So. Uh, if you interested in flatbed, give them a call. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell on the way out the door. Out the door. Um, until next time, tell me who's next. <laughs>